And I want to talk to you guys today specifically about candida and fasting. So if the, it, I, I see this so much in the comments on, especially on the Resetter page, about people who have intense sugar cravings that they can't seem to get over. And one of the things that we know is that candida is living in all of us. It is a fungus that is in all of us. It's just a matter of if candida will grow or if it stays contained. Sugar is one of those things that will grow candida. Very, it, it feeds, it's a fungus in your gut that will feed off of uh, sugar. So it's super smart and it wants you to eat more sugar so it can stay alive. Now, candida is linked to so many problems. Candida is linked to chronic fatigue syndrome. That's what I had over 30 years ago and I found out that I had massive candida. Um, and it was causing, allowing the Epstein-Barr virus to grow in my body. Uh, candida is, is linked to, to cancer. So one of the things that we know is that that has been well documented. Um, candida leads, uh, it leads to diabetes, especially type 2. I found a ton of research on that. Um, and it really can cause you to have these insane sugar cravings. So... What do you do to kill candida? Oh, hormone pr problems as well. Candida can really affect how your body ba uh, balances estrogen and progesterone. So what do you do? I mean, this thing has got a life of its own. So in the past, in, in the functional medicine world, we've really focused on what we call pathogen purges or killers, where we give you supplements that will kill the candida down. And you combine that with a sugar-free diet or a grain-free diet. In severe cases with candida, we actually want you to do more, no fruits. Like you are, it's pretty much meat and fat and vegetables. You want anything that would feed this organism. We want you to avoid. So those two have been really helpful for fighting candida. But we now have some new research, and I'm gonna post this because I know you guys love the article or love the research. I'm gonna post this um, in the show notes. So, um, because I found an article this morning uh, of a study that was done a couple of years ago showing that when you fast, so if you put fasting into your multi therapeutic approach for candida, what ends up happening is that when your body goes into autophagy, it not only is eating the toxins within the cell, but it is secreting a protein that then goes out and, and engulfs candida. So I posted a little, um, co a little uh, comment on Instagram yesterday about how fasting can help the microbiome. And I got so many comments from people about how can it help candida and so I went searching for this article this morning to see what the research was showing. And that was actually brand new information to me that when you put yourself into a fasting lifestyle and you stimulate autophagy as often as possible, what you're doing is secreting these proteins that will fight candida. They also documented that it will fight mold. So mold and candida go hand in hand. They're both different types of funguses that live in different environments. So let's step this out for you. What do you do if you have candida? So the first thing is you do want, to, I still am a fan of reducing sugars and fruits and all of those kind of things. A carbohydrate, stop feeding it. I also am a fan of pathogen uh, supplements, pathogen purgers. Um, so if you want information on that, just put pathogen purge in the comments and we'll get you some information. Um, and what I'm going to say is that those two things may not be enough and that I would really look at fasting. So now I know a lot of you are going to ask me the question of, well, how long do you need to fast? And this is why I love to point out that it, fasting, I hope for those of you that are following me, becomes a lifestyle. You just see that there's seven different fasts. You can use these fasts in lots of different ways, 15 hours without food. But once you're comfortable there, don't stop. I, I would encourage you to go longer. The longer you go, the more you're going to stimulate autophagy. There are a variety of theories on when autophagy peaks. 
and it's everything from 17 hours of fasting all the way up to 72 hours of fasting. That tends to be the range. So it, and it really depends on how your cells are, because if your cells and your mitochondria are really sick, then it may take longer for you to get that autophagy effect. So, but that is the typical range. So Candida, that's how you go after it. Um, I have seen, oh, oh, let me give you one other tip because this is really helpful. Look at your tongue when you fast. What color is it? So candida shows up as it's dying off, will show up on your tongue. So is it like I've seen yellow on people's tongue. I've seen black on people's tongues. We see a furry white coating a lot. So one thing you can start doing as you implement a fasting lifestyle is start watching your tongue, especially in the morning. But I look at my tongue when I do a 24 hour fast or even like a three or to five day fast, I'm always looking at my tongue. And what ideally I wanna see is that there's some die off, it's white or yellow. And then over time, as I fast longer, I wanna see that it's pink. So when it turns, when it's got a white, yellow, or even black, I mean, black is a lot of candida um, tinge to it, then what we want to be able to see is that the, as you fast more, does it turn pink? And if it turns pink, that's awesome. It means that you've improved your candida levels. So um, candida comes back. You don't ever completely get it to go away. But with those three strategies and fasting being such a key strategy, um, I really think you'll start to make a turn in your candida. Now, let me, let me say one more thing before I um, open it up for questions. So um, the other thing we know about candida is that heavy metals, if you have the presence of heavy metals, it forms, candida loves heavy metals because it changes the pH of your gut. So it can live a little, make a little home around the metal that it thrives in. So if you are changing your diet, if you are throwing pathogen purges at it, if you are fasting and you're not making progress, you're gonna have to go look at how you get those heavy metals out. And I've done a ton of videos on that, so you can go to that playlist. But really, I've, I've spent the 23 years of my practice working with patients on candida. I've, in my own life, this has been the major gut um, issue that I've had to work with. And these four things are really key. Fasting being crucial, crucial, crucial part of this. So I hope that's helpful. The other article I'm gonna put in here that I really loved is that there's uh, research showing that coconut oil, so I know a lot of you follow the keto lifestyle, but coconut oil is really good for killing candida. So I'll put links to both of those articles in there so you can benefit from that. So. Let me know if that helps. Let me know if you want to know more about candida. Um, I know it's a topic that I've mixed into some of these videos, but I want to make sure that those of you that are struggling with candida have a very clear video on what you need to do. So with that, I will open it up to questions. Okay. Awesome. So if you're new to my uh, YouTube channel, every Thursday I do a YouTube live. So we do it at, we're, we're doing it at varying times um, uh, and seeing where you guys need it to be like, is it better in the afternoon for you? Is it better in the morning? So we'll let you know when we settle in on one time so you can ask questions. Um, also go to my community section on this page because um, we post information there. Uh, I have an, uh, a new fast training week that's coming up for my uh, resetter community on Facebook. It's going to be April 22nd through the 26th. Um, we're going to talk specifically about stem cells in that week. Um, we're also going to talk about how do you build muscle during, your, during um, a fasting period. So I want to show you what that looks like. We're gonna do something new for you guys on YouTube is that we're also gonna be posting daily videos during the fast training week on my community page here on YouTube. So make sure you go to the community page, comment, comment on anything on there, but know those of you that don't necessarily wanna be over here on Facebook that we are trying to get some information for you so you can still partake in these fast training weeks. Um, and we also have taken all of my fast 
of you who want to dive deeper into this information and really learn how to personalize it for you, that's in the Reset Academy. And just put Reset Academy in uh, your notes. We'll get that for you as well. So, um, but as always, if you have questions, put them on these videos. I've got a team of people reading them, giving me what you guys want to know so that I can customize this channel for you. The, I, I do this for your benefit. So I want to make sure that you're getting the information that you need. Two quick questions. Two quick questions. Okay. First, can you just repeat all the strategies? Somebody missed the first ah, two. Ah, repeat all the strategies. Okay. So there's four strategies for candida. Take down your diet. Take down fruits, sugar, carbohydrates. So stop feeding it that way. Okay. Second strategy is something called pathogen purging, where you're taking supplements that will actually kill the candida. Third strategy is fasting. So go back and watch this from the beginning because we're seeing now through research that autophagy gives off a protein that will engulf candida, the candida fungus, and will kill it. And then the fourth strategy is heavy metal detoxing because heavy metals create an environment in your gut where candida can thrive. Knock on wood, give me the most difficult case of candida out there. And I've applied these four things and it's really made an impact. So, um, and candida again is associated with so many conditions. So I, I hope that is clear. Um, and the last question is what test do you recommend for heavy metals and molds? And mm. then uh, the website where you can order your supplements. Okay. Uh, test for heavy metals and molds. So heavy metals, the, the proper way to test heavy metals is a provoked test. So where you're taking a provoking agent, we use DMSA um, and it uh, pushes the metals out. And then we end up getting to see a, um, uh, a, a, what's in the urine and we measure that for six hours. That is the most important one. Um, the, there are hair analysis, there's blood analysis that will only tell you what's coming out. So it's not considered the gold standard mold. So there are two tests we recommend. One, I just discovered this week. Um, it is a test that is done by vibrant wellness. It tests 31 different mycotoxins and it's a urinary test. And it tells you if you're having an, an acute exposure. And if you've been in that exposure, at least for a couple of weeks. So um, if you want information on either of those, just put mold or heavy metal in the notes and we'll, and we'll get them for you. Supplement wise, the place we recommend you go to for supplements is Revelation Health. The, th the reason supplements, and I'm gonna bring somebody on to Reset or TV next week to talk about how do you tell if, there's, if a supplement is bad or good. We're gonna, I wanna give you guys that information because that's shown up on questions here on YouTube. Um, but on revelationhealth.com, they have all of their supplements on there have been tested for metals. They ha have the purest of substances in them. They're not full of synthetic fillers. So they've already vetted that for you. And they give you guys a discount when you do a first order. And so you just put my last name, Pels, P-E-L-Z, and you'll get 10% off there. So, um, so really grateful to Rev Health for that. Great. Other questions? Um, do you know anything about fasting and the HPV virus? A a fasting and the HPV virus. I, d I haven't come across any, um, any theories on it, um, but let me go look because that intrigues me as well. One of the things that we know about fasting is it upregulates healing. So this is why it's, it's just so many people are catching on to it is that whatever condition you're in, as you start to fast more, it really can accelerate your healing process. So immune system gets stronger, inflammation goes down. So I would think in a viral situation of any kind, it would have a dramatic effect. So, but let me go, the great question, I'll go do some research for you. So. Um, that's it. That's it. Okay, as always, I appreciate you guys. I hope this helps. Give me feedback so that I keep making these videos for you and that you get the information you need to succeed with your health. Have an awesome day.